Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you can hear me because it's a bit windy and I'm currently in Lecce in Puglia. I'm so happy to be back in Italy even if it's been only two weeks since I left Venice. Now I'm in one of the squares but I will show you around later. Yesterday I took a flight from Belgrade to Rome around 4 p.m. and we arrived very very fast and then in Rome I met my friends from Venice so we spent a couple of hours there. We didn't have time to visit so much and it was already late in the evening so maybe next time but it's fine I've been in Rome already two times then we took a night bus from Rome to Lecce and we arrived here this morning at 8 I usually sleep in buses but last night I drank coffee at 10 p.m. which wasn't the greatest decision of my life so I slept only three or four hours in total which is Mm, not so good but it's fine like I will sleep later so we will stay in Lecce for two days and then for another four days we will travel around we will see some other cities in Puglia and also some beaches so I'm very excited to see that because it's my first time to be in this part of Italy and I will take you with me everywhere so I hope you will enjoy it and I will talk to you soon <coughs> We decided to start our lovely trip in the southern cities and then slowly move to the north. So the first stop is Lecce, the main city of Salento in Puglia. The city is over 2000 years old and it's very famous for its baroque buildings and for that sometimes it's called Florence of the South. After breakfast we took a walk around and tried famous pucha from Salento. It was very delicious and I highly recommend trying if you come to Puglia. Moving on to our Airbnb apartment, we had two very big rooms as you can see and the terrace with the view of the ruins which we didn't mind at all since we only used apartment for sleeping and there's also a private bathroom so in general we were satisfied with this apartment. Breakfast was also included but it was in the cafe in front of our building which you will see later in the video. We took a nap and then continued our walk around Lecce and we figured out there's a lot more to see in the history historical center so we stayed there until late at night. On our second day we wanted to go to the beach so we googled beaches around Lecce and the one that we liked the most was in Torre del Orso which was around one hour away by bus so we decided to go there. One bad thing about buses is that they are never on time which is completely normal in Italy but we waited for this one for 45 minutes so we arrived later than expected but as you see it was totally worth it because the color of the sea is so beautiful. We were cliff jumping in the first part of the day and it's very safe even some kids were jumping because it's very deep under these cliffs. Thank you. 
and then we had lunch with the amazing view of Torre de Lorso. Prices were really affordable. We got big burger and fries for only 7 euros and plus you get this beautiful view of the beach so what more can you ask for? After late lunch we decided to go to the viewpoint above the beach and wait for sunset and then take another dip in this beautiful water. It was very nice and chill but please keep in mind not to listen to Google Maps because our last bus to Lecce never showed up and we needed to take taxi but that was another adventure so just stay safe and I was lucky to be with two guy friends so it wasn't scary at all. The next morning we checked out from Lecce and continued our trip towards Ostuni, but at first we stopped at Brindisi for an hour. The city itself is cute, but I got a feeling that you can skip it if you don't have enough time. Anyways, we had an amazing gelato and then continued to the train station to catch our train to Ostuni. When we reached, we didn't know that the train station is 40 minutes by walk to the city, so we took a taxi. He wanted to charge us 15 euros, but my friend asked for 10 and then he agreed. So I guess you can ask for lower prices as well. And then we arrived in less than five minutes by car. Guys, we just arrived in Ostuni and let me show you this place. This is the best house I've ever been in. Like the I'm speechless and I'm drinking my coffee now. Just keep watching. Wow. Wow. My first impression, this city is so beautiful. Again, we booked our apartment through Airbnb and this was the best place I've ever seen. Actually, I found it, but I didn't look so deeply at the pictures on the website. So I was speechless when I saw how good it is. I guess we were so lucky because it's impossible that we paid so little for such a beautiful apartment. It has three levels and the rooftop terrace, but as you can see, everything is pretty authentic. We were super happy when we saw it and we didn't want to leave it for the next two hours. But honestly, the best part is this terrace with an amazing view of the historical center of Ostuni. I fell in love immediately, as you can see by my expressions. And when we finally decided to leave, we took a walk around and fell in love with this city even more, if that's even possible. So I definitely recommend visiting Ostuni if you are in Puglia.
Accidentally, we found the cutest restaurant ever and had the dinner there. Again, I ate pucha and it was more than enough for me. Honestly, prices are really affordable in Puglia and you can get really good amount of food for less than 10 euros. So even if you're a student, you can really go to Puglia and have fun. In the evening, again, accidentally, we found this parade of horses and it was super fun to watch. So we continued our walk and then had wine. And basically that was it for this day. Next morning, we woke up at five to see the sunrise from our lovely terrace and then continued sleeping until 10 since we didn't rest much in the previous days. Since I woke up first, I went to buy a breakfast in the local bakery and I felt very happy walking around like a local. Then I came home and I arranged everything and made coffee in our cute little kitchen and brought everything up to the terrace. I think I enjoyed my breakfast 10 times more if it looks nice. Later we planned to go to Albero Bello, but Italian buses failed us again. We waited for an hour at the stop that Google showed us, but turns out that it was the wrong one. So we left it for the next day and walked around Ostuni again. We went to see the panoramic view and continued walking around the center. So we had fun even if it didn't go as planned. In the evening we decided to make our own dinner, of course it was pasta and it was so delicious. Next morning we checked out from this beautiful apartment, walked around a bit and decided to give another chance to bus for Albero Bello. It wasn't easy to get there but in the end we finally made it and in my opinion it was totally worth it. This cute village is known for its truly whitewashed stone huts with conical roofs and it's designated as UNESCO's World Heritage so you should definitely put it on your travel list. I remember learning about this at university years ago so I was really happy to see it in real life too. Fun part is that you can enter some truly for free as many of them are now souvenir shops or just open for visitors and since we checked out this morning we also asked one old couple to leave our backpacks in their trolla for two hours and they were so nice and cute so I felt like people in the south would do anything for us. <music>
we walked around, enjoyed these beautiful houses and had a drink. And around 5 p.m. we took a bus to our final destination, which is Polignano Amare. We arrived later than we thought we would because, again, the bus was late. I don't even have to mention it anymore. It's just Italy. So we just checked in in our third apartment. As you can see, it was the smallest so far. But again, we didn't spend time inside at all. And we immediately went out to catch sunset, take a walk and have dinner. Out of all cities that we visited, this one was the most crowded one. Probably because it's just next to the sea. But still, it was so beautiful. And I really liked being here. <music> Next morning we decided to spend the whole day at the beach because it was our last full day of this trip. Again the color of the sea was amazing as you can see. We walked through the city to the main beach and we didn't arrive there so late. It was around 11 a.m. but it was super crowded which I usually don't like but at this point we didn't mind it at all. We were so happy to be at the beach and go to the cliffs again and jump. It's again very safe for jumping if you like it don't miss that out at this spot. Today again for lunch we had seafood but this time it was octopus sandwich which was very good but too big for me. I could barely finish it as you can see it was the size of my head. I mean it's definitely too big. <music> And then we went back to the beach and enjoyed sunset. My friend was also swimming in the evening, but for me it was too cold. So we went home to change and then went out again. As basic tourists we did henna tattoos. This is my first time ever, so I didn't know what to expect. And apparently it lasts for two weeks, basically like a marker. I just did a little shell on my wrist, which was very cute. Then we had drinks until late at night and went back to pack our things because we had to catch a bus at 7 a.m. from Bari to Rome. We took a train from Polignano Amare to Bari around 5.30 and then had a breakfast and coffee at the Bari train station while waited for our bus. Since we didn't sleep at all that night, I slept in a bus like a baby the whole time and woke up in Rome 
which is the best feeling ever. From that bus station, we went to Colosseum by Metro and walked around a bit, had lunch in a local restaurant, which was very fresh and delicious. And then it was already time to take a bus back to the airport, which was very sad for me. I really hope you enjoyed this one week vlog from Puglia. I loved it so much and I can't wait to go back there one day. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Ciao!